What's up YouTube? Sky that one guy here and today we have a very exciting video. So we're actually going to be opening up a slightly older box. Not too expensive but uh, it's a little pricey. We have a Rise of Destiny first edition box and uh, what actually makes this box special is it is actually a hobby box. At least that's what I have been told. Um, and uh, for those of you who don't know, hobby boxes, <clears throat> instead of pulling uh, rares in your ultimate rares, you actually pull the super rares or the ultra rares from the set in your ultimate rare slot. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If not, uh, let me know. I can explain it better. But uh, I can try to at least or point you in the direction of someone who can. <clears throat> but anyways, I have this other box so we can compare. So this is from my personal collection. This is the one I just recently got that we're going to open. Um, so this is a retail box. And from what I was told, the retail box number on the back is higher than the um, hobby box. So the hobby box came first. It's 3.9. And the retail box came after and it's 4.5. Um, that is what I believe is to be true. And we will find out in this video. So I just wanted to bring that into compare so you can see the differences. Um, I believe hobby boxes went to like the uh, card stores or yeah hobby boxes went to the card stores and then retail boxes went to like you know walmart or whatever that's this is all what i believe i could be wrong if i am please correct me down in the comments but uh yeah so um real quick before we get into the box uh the this set did come out in 2004 it was the first set to have a sneak preview event which i thought was pretty cool first set to have a sneak peek um and it was the last mainstream set to have Yugi on the cover. Um, it's a 60 card set, 85 if you include ultimate rares. And uh, yeah, so there's. So if I am right, we have a chance at pulling Perfect Machine King, Silent Swordsman Level 3, The Creator, Mystic Swordsman Level 6. Those are the ultra rares that we could pull as an ultimate rare. Or the super rares would be Monster Reincarnation, Divine Wrath. Thessalus, the Firestorm Monarch, Triangle, Ecstasy, Spark, Picaroos, Circle of Enchantment, Tragedy, and Big Course. So um, those are the, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 7. Those are the 11 cards that we have a possible possibility of pulling, if I am correct. And uh, we've talked for two minutes. Sorry, I'm just really excited to open this. Um, I think I'm going to just slit it here. And we are now in. There's no turning back. No turning back, guys. We are in it to win it. Hobby Box, Rise of Destiny, first edition. Uh, again, this is from 2004 is when this set came out. So this is a old, old box. And we just cracked it open. I can't believe we just did that. We're crazy. All right, let's get in here. Um, I was doing a PSA submission, and I thought, you know what? This box has been on my shelf for a while. Let's see if we can pull a cool ultimate rare. And, um, yeah. So no weighing packs, no, no nothing weird like that. We're just literally going to open up all these awesome packs. And we're going to start on the right side of the box. And uh, I apologize, I just opened a case of Battles of Legend. So it's going to be really weird for me to go from ripping open packs as fast as I can to being slow and careful. So we'll take one last look at the booster wrap uh, packs. And hopefully you guys don't mind my three minute intro. I just, I was talking about so much stuff. And uh, yeah, again, I got to really figure out how these packs are going to open without messing everything up so there we go i'm not too worried about the pack wrappers i know some people collect them but uh, i feel like this is not quite a collectible enough set for that so let's get right into it invasion of flames creeping doom manta harpy lady number two love this card uh tactical espionage expert element magician and our first rare is machine duplication that's actually a really good rare that's uh that's actually a really big hit so Astral Barrier, Heavy Mech Support Platform, and Bakochi the Frightening Car. So I'll actually leave the Machine Dupe out for now. That's a good one. So, all right, next pack. Looking pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Let's see. There we go. Try and be as careful as I can with these. There we go. That opened up much better. Oh, set that off camera. All right, Mind Hacksers. So much nostalgia with these. Uh, commons harpy girl that's an awesome one look at that artwork back to square one lighten the load and covering fire is our next rare that's a pretty cool rare not quite as good as machine dupe but pretty good uh harpy lady one bakochi's frightening car 
heavy mech support flat platform, and another astral barrier. So we'll go through the commons a few more times because this is just such an old box. And then we'll try and speed it up a little bit because I do not want my camera to die. That would be not fun. All right. Next pack. Okay, Homunculus the Alchemic Being, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, and we got our first hollow, and it's a big core. All right, that's a good looking hollow. Um, I'm a big fan of machines. I know this isn't that valuable, but uh, yeah, big fan of machines, so I do actually really enjoy this card, and that artwork is actually really nice. I love the background. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. So uh, we'll go ahead and just... Uh, let me get my sleeves out, just give me one second, sorry, get your popcorn, it's going to be a longer video, I really don't want to rush this one too much, so, uh, alright, we got that sleeved up and ready to go, again, look at that, that background just looks so nice, okay, so we'll finish our pack here, so Malice, Invasion, Foxfire, Ballista, and then I believe those were the four we started out with, if I did that backwards, I apologize. All right, what is this, pack number four? We're moving right along on this amazing box from 2004. Again, this is a 60 card set. And uh, if you if you include the ultimate rares, even though they're the same card, um, it's an 85 card master set. So it's not too hard to collect if uh, you're into that thing. I definitely am. Uh, Creeping Doom, Manta, back to square one. Mirage Dragon. Raging Flame Sprites, and 18 Trap Disposal Unit. I actually really like this rare, too. Uh, I, I believe I have an ultimate rare of it as well in my collection. So, Invasion of Flames, Malice, Dispersion, Foxfire, and Eagle Eye. Whew, all right. <clears throat> getting, a, <clears throat> getting a little nervous here. Sorry, losing my voice, too. <clears throat> getting a little nervous. Really want to see an ultimate rare, but... Uh, you know, I guess it'll come whenever it wants, if it wants to show up. There we go. I am actually salvaging some of these wrappers. That's pretty cool. I have a friend who does collect them, so maybe I'll see if he's interested in them. Um, but if not, that's totally fine. So Harpy's Hunting Ground, Element Magician, Tactical Espionage Expert, Harpy Lady Number 2, and Rare Metal Morph. Alright, so that's our next rare. Harpy Lady 1. Astral Barrier, Heavy Mech Support Platform, and Bakochi. So like I said, it's only a 60 card set, uh, not including the duplicate ultimate rares. So we're going to see a lot of doubles going through this box, but uh, that's alright. So Just get that lift to come out without touching any of the cards. Alright. So yeah, um, the main cards I would want would be... Um, Perfect Machine King, that's probably the one I want the most. That's actually one of my favorite cards, one of the reasons I'm opening this. Uh, next would be the Creator. And uh, I'm a really big fan of the Mystic Swordsman and Silent Swordsman as well. Uh, I'd really like the Monster Incarnation or Thessalus would be really nice. But uh, anyways, back to the pack. Harpy Lady number two. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician. Harpy's Hunting Ground. And we have another Hollow, so we have Tragedy. Um... So I'm, I'm glad we got Tragedy in the Super Rare slot. Uh, I would really hope not to get it in the Ultimate Rare slot because I actually opened up uh, some loose Rise of Destiny booster packs and pulled a Tragedy in Ultimate Rare. So I already have that one. So hopefully we don't get this in our Ultimate Rare slot. Um, and the other card I don't really want is the P Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment as an Ultimate Rare because um, I just pulled that in one of my previous videos. Uh, Pitch Black Werewolf, Moki Moki King, Fruits of Kozaki Studies, and Harpy Lady number three. Whew, I'm getting a little nervous here towards the end of the right side of the box. Okay. Whew. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, trying to make it a thing where like I open up maybe one box a month or something, you know. I don't want to go too overboard on the old boxes, but I think it's fun to uh, open and you get some pack fresh cards and that's what I really enjoy out of it. I can uh, grade the ultimate rares that I pull, and even if they're bad ones, I can still store them in my collection and uh, keep them sealed safely inside the PSA case to uh, preserve it forever. So, uh, Raging Flame Sprite, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Barrage Dragon, 
and another machine duplication. So if we're going to get doubles on our rares, that is one of the rares we want to get. So I'm going to mess up the piles a little bit there and set that there. Invasion of Flames, Malice Dispersion, Eagle Eye, and Fu Rin Kazan. Whew, all right. Looking pretty good. We have, let's see, one, two, three, I think four packs left on the right side. Maybe five. I might have miscounted. And, uh, yeah, so I haven't actually opened a Rise of Destiny box in years. Like, close to when the first set first came out. So, um, this is a pretty big thing for me. I don't get to open this up every day, so I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can. And, uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy it with me, so. Um, Nightmare Penguin, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Element Magician, Back to Square One, and Fusilier Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast. So, actually, I'm thinking about opening... Because um, I have this other box that I showed you guys at the start of the video. Think about opening this soon uh, because it has a chance. That's a regular retail box, so it has a chance to pull the rares in ultimate rare form. And uh, I really want this card in an ultimate rare really bad. So um, if you want to see that other box opening, just let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up and a comment or something. And let me know, and uh, we'll get that going sometime soon. So I just don't want to open it up, you know, back to back because these are over $100 boxes. They're starting to get pretty pricey, especially for the hobby box. But anyways, Woodborg and Pachi, Moki Moki King. That's a really good one. Another Woodborg. <laughs> and uh, the Creator Incarnate. Whew, all right, 11 minutes in. We're not even halfway. I do apologize for this video being so long, guys. I'm just trying to enjoy it myself as well. And, uh, you know, I think that's something that's really important just... There's no reason to rip through these as I rip open the pack. I guess we'll just, we won't save this pack wrapper. But uh, there's no real reason to, you know, speed through this because you don't get to open these up very often. And I feel like these boxes are going to get really expensive really soon. So Mighty Guard, Nightmare Penguin, Back to Square One, Creeping Doom Manta, and Flint is the rare. Then we have Foxfire, Eagle Eye, Element Saurus, and Furin Kazan. Sounds like uh, the neighbor's kids are outside playing, so if you hear some background noise, I do apologize. Uh, Rise of Destiny, first edition pack. Gosh, these wrappers look so nice. It's been it's been a while since I've gotten to open up uh, packs fresh from a box. Oh, and I keep forgetting to save the pack wrappers. That's alright, we saved like five so far. So I guess I can rip up in a few. As long as I'm taking care of the cards, that's what's important. I gotta remember the cards are worth more than the wrappers for sure, so... Creeping Doom Mana, Back to Square One, Mirage Dragon, Raging Flame Sprite, and we got another Hollow, so Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment. So this is the other one I was talking about. I want to make sure I don't pull this in an Ultimate Rare because I just pulled it in a tin opening in uh, a previous video. So let me get a sleeve on this guy, or a girl, real quick. All right, so we got hollow number three. All super rares so far. That's all right. Let's make some room for her. And we'll put her right there. Sweet, looking good so far. Uh, Woodborg and Pachi, Creator Incarnate, Element Saurus, and Moki Moki Smackdown. Okay, two more packs on the right side of the box. Yep, there we go. Okay, make sure the cards will come out nice and smooth. Don't want to mess up any of the corners. And here we go. Lighten the Load, Harpy Lady number two, Creeping Doom Manta, Tactical Espion Espionage Expert, and Dark Soul or Gaia Soul the Combustible Collective. That's a really good rare too. That would be one I would want to get as an ultimate rare in my other box. So. Harpy Lady number three, Moki Moki Smackdown, Element Saurus, and Creator Incarnate. Okay, so we have the very last pack on the right side of the box. We still haven't gotten an ultimate. I'm kind of worried, but uh, hopefully we'll still get at least one ultimate in this box. You know, you never know with these old printings. You know, they weren't very consistent. There was definitely some mistake boxes. I have seen them myself and on YouTube. So, all right, let's get into the last pack on the right side of the box. Harpy's Hunting Ground, Mind Haxers, I think that's the first time we've gotten that common, Harpy Girl, Back to Square One, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight, that's a really good rare, Malice Dispersion, Eagle Eye, Fu Rain Kazan, and Moki Moki King. 
Okay, running out of room here. Okay, so we have 12 packs left on the left side of the box. Guys, kind, of, kind of scoot this over a little bit. Getting a little nervous here. So far, all super rares. Hopefully, this left side will redeem it for us. Like I said, I'm doing a... Oh, wow, that... That pack wrapper got, like, ripped off right there. That was already like that before I started ripping into it. Huh. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to do a PSA return. I think I'm going to submit it tonight and ship it out in the morning. So I figured maybe if we pull an ultimate rare, I could submit it now just with that uh, submission. But uh, we'll see. So Mirage Dragon, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Harpy Girl, Mind Hexers, and Dakochi the Battle Chanted Locomotive. Another really good rare. Foxfire, Ballista, Pitch Black Warwolf, and Fruits of Kozaki Studies. And look at this card. It has like it has like a line through it. Do you see that? Straight out of the pack. Sorry to blind you guys, but I want to show that. It has a printing line like all the way down it. There's a few of them. Pretty crazy. So, anyways, on to the next pack. Mind Haxers, Raging Flame Sprites, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Ultimate Insect Level 3. There's another really good rare. I I know I keep saying that, but I guess like all the rares in this set are actually pretty cool. Uh, Furin Kazan, Eagle Eye, and Malice Dispersion. And Invasion of Flames, sorry. Miscounted, I thought that was the last card. But yeah, actually after opening this, looking at all the rares, you know, I would be happy with almost all of those as an ultimate rare, so... Gives me even more reason to want to open up my uh, retail box that I have. This one did not want to open. Alright. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Harpy Girl. Homunculus. Mind Haxers. And Thessalus the Firestorm Monarch. So another really good uh, super rare. Oh, don't fall please. Let me grab a sleeve. All right, so another super rare sleeved up and ready to go, and it's the Firestorm Monarch. Big fan of this card. Definitely happy with that pull. So as for the rest of the pack, we have Fruits of Kozaki Studies, Pitch Black, and Ballista. And Foxfire, I believe, was the last card. Okay, so we're getting low on packs and still no ultimate rares. Hopefully we can finish with some ultimate rares here soon. But uh, if not, you know, that's all right. It does happen. And uh, I'm just happy to, you know, the experience was worth the price all by itself. I mean, this this box doesn't hold, you know, these cards don't hold insane value. But uh, so I'm, I was instantly going to lose money pretty much after opening it. But uh, I wanted to do it to have some fun and uh, just remember the good old days. You know, it's always fun to crack open an old box. So uh, Zing Zan Rock, Lightning the Load, Nightmare Penguin, and Suzuki Samurai number four. Element Source, Fubrin, Pitch Black, and Moki Moki King. Alright, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Raging Flame Sprite, Zing Zen Hu, Barrage Dragon, and Chain Burst is the rare. Running out of room up here. Pitch Black Warwolf, Fruits of Kozaki Study, Harpy Lady Number 1, and Astral Barrier. Alright, I'm probably going to have to start not stacking, uh, not separating the rares. Oh, we'll figure it out soon. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 packs if you include the one in my hand left. So we're pretty close to being done. So let's see if we can end strong. Here we go. I got a good feeling feeling something's coming up soon. Zing Zen Who, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Harpy Girl, Homunculus, and oh wow, we got Necklace of Command. Isn't that did I open up the wrong box? 39. Necklace of Command. Isn't that a rare? I thought that was a rare. Hmm. Alright, so maybe I'm spreading <clears throat> maybe I'm spreading some misinformation, actually. Because uh, I think if this was a hobby box, I don't think I would have pulled that. But 
Again, I'm ill-informed, you know, I'm just going off what I've heard from YouTube videos. I'm still trying to learn it all myself, but, uh, yeah, Necklace, <clears throat> Necklace of Command, first edition, straight from the pack. Definitely going to grade that. <clears throat> Losing my voice here. Very happy with the ultimate rare, so, yeah. Element Source, Moki Moki, Harpy Lady 3, and Moki Moki King. <clears throat> I'm going to grab a sip of water real quick. <clears throat> okay, so maybe someone with more experience can let me know. Again, there's the uh, barcode on the pack, and uh, here's the barcode on the box, 739. <clears throat> so maybe, you know, I don't know how all this works perfectly, so I'm still figuring it out. So hopefully someone with more experience can let me know if, if this was indeed an actual uh, hobby box, because that's what I was told. Maybe you can still pull rares, or maybe that... Maybe that is a super rare and I just didn't notice. No, I think that's a rare. All right, well, let's see. Rock from the Valley of Haze, Lighten the Load, <clears throat> Homunculus, Spell Purification, and Necklace of Command. Yeah, so it is a rare. That's funny that we pulled it back to back. So that's a rare. So I believe that should have been in the retail box. Uh, support flat Platform, Frightening Car, Invasion of Flames, and Malice Dispersion. So yeah, somebody definitely let me know if you have more experience. Um, was this a hobby box or a retail box? I believe it was a hobby. I was told by the seller it was a hobby. So uh, yeah, just going with that. And uh, if I was wrong, you know, I have this other box over here. Maybe that one's the hobby box and this was the retail. <laughs> I'll get it figured out soon and I'll let you guys know in the comments. So Creeping Doom Mana, Harpy Lady number two, Tactical Espionage, Element Magician, and Suzuki Samurai number four. Pitch Black, Warwolf, Ballista, Foxfire, and Invasion of Flames. So four packs left, hoping for one more Ultimate Rare or an Ultra Rare. Okay, Spell, Purification, Mighty Guard, Nightmare Penguin, Back to Square One, and Machine Duplication, our third Machine Dupe. Wow, we're getting doubles of the best rare, or one of the best rares. Heavy Mech Support Platform, Astral Barrier, Harpy Lady Number 1, and Fruits of Kazaki Study. Alright, so pretty happy with that Necklace of Command. I was definitely starting to get worried. I mean, we're down to three packs left, and we, you know, it took us that long to pull an Ultimate Rare, so. That's old boxes for you, you know, no, go no guaranteed hollows. And, uh, yeah, it was a different time, and I uh, definitely uh, enjoyed it, and I'm glad to be able to open this box. This is a very nice experience. Harpy Lady number two, Creeping Doom Mana, Tactical Espionage Expert, Nightmare Penguin, and A Team Trap Disposal Unit. Yeah, so we're definitely pulling the rares as the ultimate rares. So I think, think I might have mixed this one up just a little bit. But you know what? That's all right. I'm pretty happy with those ultimate rares, actually. So I'm actually going to throw this in here real quick give me a second guys okay I'll slide it down more after the video but yeah we got that in the card saver and ready to go to PSA and it looks pretty darn good so a team trap disposal unit and necklace command I'll get that in the card saver after this video as well um, for, those, for those of you that don't know you have to put the cards in this uh, card saver to ship to PSA, or at least they suggest it. So we'll set that there. Okay, so we have two packs to go, and it looks like we are pulling... Oh, here's the rest of that last pack. Looks like we are pulling the rares as the ultimate rares, and I think we only were going to get two ultis, so I don't expect too much. I guess the last thing we could hope for would be either another super or an ultra rare. Zing Zin Hu, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Light in the Load, Nightmare Penguin, and A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. Wow, that's so crazy. So we pulled the Necklace of Command Ultimate Rare, and then the Regular Rare right after that. Then we pulled the A-Team, and then the Regular Rare A-Team right after that. So not much randomization in these old boxes. That's pretty crazy. I mean, there they are, you know. So Harpy Lady 3, Moki Moki King, Furin, and Eagle Eye. So very last pack of the box and uh yeah this has been the rise of destiny first edition box um still not sure if it was a retail box or a hobby box hopefully someone will watch this who is better experienced than i and can let me know 
And uh, yeah, so here we go, last pack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize for the almost 30 minute video, but hopefully it was worth your guys' time. And uh, I know these old boxes are just going up and up in price, so it might be a little crazy to open it up. I mean, we probably lost some serious value here, but it was a lot of fun and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So Rock from the Valley of Haze, Element Magician, Back to Square One, Zing Zin Hu, and Serial Spell to finish it off. So no more hollows for the video, that's all right. So Pikochi, Heavy Mech Support Platform, Astral Barrier and Harpy Lady 1. So we have four super rares and two ultimate rares. So we'll pull these up real quick. So we have Thessalus the Firestorm Monarch, an awesome, awesome card. Big Core, again, love that artwork. Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment, very cool. And Tragedy. So those are our four super rares. Pretty happy with those. And for our two ultimate rares, let me um, pick this up as gentle as I can. Need to get it in a card saver, but uh, yeah, here's our two ultimate rares, I guess. Why don't you guys bear with me for one more second, since this video is already long enough. Might as well throw this in a card saver as well. Okay, so there's our two ultimate rares. And they look really good. Oh, that's a spec on the thing. I'll get it off. Uh, but yeah, they look really good. Pretty happy with them. Necklace of the com of Command, or of the Meme Dream, some people call it if you watch the Market Watches. And uh, A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. Pretty happy with those ultimate rares. And uh, lots of good rares out here as well. So let me know what you thought about this box. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Again, this was Rise of Destiny, a first edition box. I definitely enjoyed opening it. Um, if you guys want to see more old boxes like this, let me know. Give me a like, drop some comments, because that's really the only way I'm going to know that it's, you know, worth making these videos. Because, again, you know, these boxes are $100 to $200 and going up, and uh, that's, you know, it's they're getting pricey. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave it off here so it doesn't end too long. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll send these off to PSA pretty much in the morning and uh you know we'll see how they grade you know not the most expensive ultimate rares but uh, i think it's still cool to capsule them up so if you want to check back for that video we'll have that psa return uh, as soon as i can get it so thanks again guys that's it i will see you guys in the next video hey guys i just wanted to add one little clip onto the end of this video so sorry about all the confusion with the hobby box and um retail boxes so it looks like what i did is i must have mixed up the boxes because I still have a 3.9 and a 4.5. So, um, you know, I thought it was the lower barcode was the uh, hobby box. But I believe maybe I was wrong. And the 4.5, the higher barcode, is the hobby box. Maybe that's right. Um, you know, I'll talk to somebody a little bit more experienced. And uh, I'll get that all squared away. But uh, if you want to see me open up the other version of the box. So that way I can have one video for a hobby box. And one video for a uh, retail box. Just let me know, and uh, as long as this video gets some good views and some good likes, I'll open this other box and we'll get it recorded, because, uh, yeah, I, I really didn't want to mix that up. I thought I had it right, but, uh, you know, I'm still pretty new to opening up these old boxes, so I do apologize again about the confusion, but we'll get up, we'll get opened the other box, you know, here soon if you guys want to see it. So, that's it for this video. Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.